guess how lucky I am this morning. I get to be at the Niagara Parts Power Station here down in Niagara Falls. I'm here with the Senior Director of Engineering, um, Mark, Marcelo Perillo. So, so nice to be with you, Marcelo. Thank you so much for being with us. This is a really cool opportunity. I've never been in this building before, and up until the end of July, nobody really had the opportunity to come in here, right? Correct, yeah, we just opened July 30th. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of history in this facility, as you said. We're up on the mezzanine where you can see all the equipment down below. Mm -hmm. But this plant was constructed between 1901 and 1905. Wow. So it dates back almost 116 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, there was a gentleman named by the, by the name of William Birch Rankin. Mm -hmm. He kind of gathered all the investors, got about four or five major investors, and put together about $5 million to actually build the facility at that point in time. Wow. So if you think about five million, yes. today that could be I know. in the range of almost $200 million. And this is a very solid old structure. So now people have the opportunity to come inside. What was the motivation behind coming inside this building and showing it off from the inside out now? Well, there's just so much uh, history, science, uh -huh. engineering, yes. so much heritage value to this building. So we determined early on, this is one of the, the only ones in the world. It actually is the only one in the world with all the equipment still in, intact. Oh, yeah. So we definitely knew it was a gem. Mm -hmm. We wanted to save it and we wanted to provide it to, you know, Canada, the world, mm -hmm. Ontario, to everybody for them to come and see and enjoy and understand how power generation really started right. in Canada. Now this must be fascinating from an engineering perspective for you to be part of this whole project as well. Yeah, it was amazing. Right? It, it's almost like a dream come true for an engineer. I would say. The materials selected in this facility yes. are awesome, you know, from brass, copper, uh, the limestone actually came from Niagara in the lake, so it's pretty local, just a few kilometers away. That's the stone that the building is built with. Uh, just an incredible building, um, a lot of pride that went into it, you can tell. Mm -hmm. The architecture is a bit of bow arts. Um, mm -hmm. The arched uh, kind of windows yes. are beautiful. Yes. Uh, just a, a great facility. And it really is. So up until it just opened, you know, it was closed. What was going on in here? Yeah. So. Basically, the plant uh, operated right up until 2006. Oh, it was generating cool. power wow. till then. The parks took it over in 2009. Uh -huh. We kind of got the plant back because uh -huh. uh, the property was being leased from the power generation companies. They built the building. And in 2009, uh, we were given the keys back to the building. And for sure, we wanted to look at a way to preserve it and bring it to life again. Yeah, and that's yeah. what we've done. That's the exciting part. It has been preserved and now people get to see the inside. We're going to talk about it all throughout the course of the morning. There's so much to see you. And later on, we're going to talk about as well in the evening. They have a really cool kind of light show that happens here as well. That's going to be happening a little bit later on this year. We'll be back. Back at the Niagara Parks Power Station, we're now allowed inside officially. So are you, everybody is. We're back here with the Senior Director of Engineering for this amazing facility. Marcelo, let's talk a little bit about how this building works, because you first walk in, but we don't realize it's like layers deep of information and power. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This exhibit or this model really gives people a sense when they walk through what's going on. So you can see the water that's coming in top left. That's coming right from the Niagara River. We're only 1,500 feet away from the Horseshoe Falls. Mm -hmm. So the water comes in, then those angled racks are called trash racks. That really stops any debris from getting into the power generation system. Mm -hmm. Once you make it through the racks, you'll see there's a gate structure. That's a big steel gate. It'll start to slowly come up. We hopefully will see that as we're going through it. There you go. Water starts to flow into these large tubes about 10 feet in diameter. Those we call the penstocks in power generation. As the tubes fill, they go down 135 feet. And what will eventually happen is you'll see down here, this will open up, you'll see the turbine blades. These blades spin from the force of the water coming down. And then you got a shaft that comes right back up to the generators that you see, these blue devices right on the main floor. Now nice. the cool part about all that is that generates AC power and that AC power is what goes to people's homes. It went to Buffalo, Niagara Falls. It went to businesses locally in the area and all the way to Fort Erie as well. So what you see as you come around, when the water has done its job, and this is the whole point to green energy, when the water has done a job, mm -hmm. it goes right back down to a wheel pit and it heads right back out through a tunnel that's about 2,000 feet in length. It's beautiful, it's all brick line, 25 feet in diameter, and it goes right back to the falls. So you bring the water in, you use it, and you send it right back. Isn't this something so fascinating about this engineering from so far back that they were, they had the, the, the smarts, the, you know, the intelligence to look at this and use, again, something as you say, that's such green, green type of energy way back in the day. Absolutely. I mean, it makes sense. It's so cool because other places in the world, 
would emulate from this. This is like, we are a king when it comes to hydropower. That's right. This was the first of its kind in Canada uh -huh. and in the world. Yep. And basically it kind of propagated uh, power generation from then on. It became sure. the standard in the world. And it still is today, which is incredible. Yeah, really Dating is. back 116 years ago. So reminding people now, this building is officially open for tours. People are gonna be able to come in and really learn more of the history of this building because it's not functioning now as this power source that it once was. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's okay. more for the exhibits, yes. the learning, the science, the technology. And what you see on this tunnel here and this mm -hmm. big steel shaft yes. that's over here, that's a creation that's in place for two elevators. We have two glass elevators of arriving this year and that's gonna open up a new experience next year. Uh. You'll travel down the elevator, the glass elevator, 180 feet. Mm -hmm. You'll land where I described the wheel pit where the water ends up dropping down after it's done its job. And you'll be able to walk out to that beautiful view of the Bridal Veil Falls and the American Falls for people to enjoy. So it's gonna be oh. an incredible experience. So it's only just growing and expanding by the minute. Okay, I can't wait to come back. We have more to tell you about uh, really, really, really cool history here in Niagara Falls. We'll be back. We're back here at the Niagara Parks Power Station on the inside. How lucky are we? And all of these really cool old equipment that we're going to get into some details. I'm here with Kim Viney from Niagara Parks, and uh, this is really a, a very new adventure for people. Yes. It just opened up at the end of July where people can come in this old building that's like 116 years old and it's all interactive it now, is. so people get a better idea of really what hydropower is. Exactly, I mean, people have been driving by this their entire life. Yes. And uh, they've been so excited to finally get to peek behind the doors. Mm -hmm. And you come in those beautiful copper doors and yes. you enter into this magnificent space. We actually refer to this as a cathedral of power because it, it really, really is. It really has that reverence and that yes. feeling to it. Yes, it absolutely And we've does. tried to be very respectful. We've, mm -hmm. we've uh, kept as much of the equipment intact and in place as we possibly can mm -hmm. and uh, we're really you know excited to be sharing this with uh, all of our visitors so along with what you've kept intact you've added some really cool interactive yeah, right. areas where people can really get an, a, a real feel for how things work exactly so we worked with our sister agency science north up in Sudbury of mm -hmm. course they've got a long history of creating wonderful models and yes. guest interactions mm -hmm. So we have uh, our three key models. So the uh, um, flow model, the, the scale model of the plant itself. Mm -hmm. And then they worked on this beautiful control panel with us. So <laughs> what we wanted to do was create some interactivity uh, so that guests actually start to get a sense of how did things work? What connected to what? Right. Uh, they get a sense of the jobs that were back then. Mm -hmm. So through gesture activated tablets, mm -hmm. we've got three different scenarios the guests can engage in so we mm -hmm. set up a problem mm -hmm. so they're invited to become part of the power station staff uh. and uh, through narrative they start to learn about the various aspects of the plant mm -hmm. and they're invited to through various activities help us solve whatever the problem might be maybe right. they're needing more power or there's some trash that got stuck a big tree came into the power right. station so because we all just take you know our, our electricity for granted exactly. right I mean we know Niagara Falls is responsible but we don't really know how it well, just goes from A to B <laughs> well think about even in Ontario we don't say we have an electric bill we no. say we have a hydro bill. hydro bill I know yeah so it's so it's a, so much part of the fabric yep. of who we are but mm -hmm. we don't really think about it no so we this don't think is, about it yeah so this is really to hopefully sort of bring people from you know the amazing innovation this was at the turn of the century sure. And partly what we want to do is excite young people yep. and, you know, look at careers in STEM. Yeah, absolutely. And, and let them realize that, you know, it's, it's not boring math. No. There's much more to no. it. And, and how does it come to life? And it was green power way ahead of its exactly. time. So, exactly. So, all right, exactly. we're going to come back. We have more to show you and also tell you about this really cool interactive yes. light display. When the lights go out, <laughs> this place gets even cooler. We'll be back here in just a little bit. We're back at the Niagara Parks Power Station. This building that's been here for 116 years that we never got to go in, we get to come into now. I'm back here with Kim Viney and uh, we're talking about this cool <laughs> interactive yes. displays in this building. And then at night, yes, we transform into currents, Niagara Park, Niagara's power transformed. Oh, wow. And uh, you know, we really wanted to, how do we imagine something very special here that gives us a nighttime experience right. that's very different than the daytime experience? I love that you guys did that. Yeah, so we partnered with Thinkwell of Montreal uh -huh. and they have experience all over the world building sound and light shows right. for many, many attractions and theme parks. Yeah, they know their stuff. They do. And uh, so they have built a show that is using projected technology, uh -huh. LED technology. They had an original sound score written just for our show. 
and then new reactive technology. So this show will actually sense, as you start to enter the show floor, mm -hmm. rivers of water will start to follow you oh, as you come into the show. Awesome. And there's several points through the show where technology will interact with you. So every show is different, every show reacts to our guests, and it's never the same show twice. You know what, Niagara tourism is so amazing, there's so vast, there's so much to do, but this just adds another whole level to it. So you come to this building in the daytime, you're getting a very different experience than when you come at night. And it's something for everybody. And as exactly. you were mentioning, you know, in the last segment, it's about education as well. And, uh, you know, hopefully for future growth with our youth as exactly. well, Exactly, right? exactly. And, you know, we really hope this starts to stimulate people to think about power differently. Yes. Start to question what does the future hold. Mm -hmm. And it just, this is meant to entertain. This is an emotional experience. Sure. So through this experience, you feel like you're part of the water. Yep. And then through transformation, you become electricity at the end of the show. Right. So this is really sort of this emotional response to this beautiful building. And it couldn't take place anywhere but here. Of it's course. all built for the architecture, for the generators, for everything we have here. And it's interesting, you know, people, we, we love our Niagara Falls. We, you know, when we grow up around it, it's easy to take it for granted, right? Yes, yes. As we're talking about hydropower, and we go and take pictures by the falls, but if you can get inside this building and appreciate it in a completely different way, yes. and really understand what happens here in Southern Ontario, it's pretty amazing yeah, technology. Yeah, we have a lot to be proud of. We sure I mean, do. Yeah, this, mm -hmm. this was the heart of invention yes. and innovation back then. Yeah, way ahead and, of its time. You know, you know, tes Tesla, Westinghouse, Edison, yep. all the greats mm -hmm. all contributed to that. Wow. So, you know, and down the road now that school kids hopefully can start up school yes. trips again. Yes. We very much want this to be an educational experience and bring kids through mm -hmm. and get them excited mm -hmm. about the future. Well, it's officially open and uh, people can go onto the Niagara Parks website, right? Yes. Find out more information and uh, uh, it's just such a nice opportunity, again, for education and just for anybody, yes. really, anybody. It's very entertaining. Yes. And just, just the architecture alone, uh -huh. many people are just absolutely awed by when yeah. they come in and have a look. Well, thank you so much for your information this morning, yeah, Cam. Thank you. Uh, Thanks really, for joining us. Marcello as well. I know from an engineering mind, he just thinks this is the coolest place yes, ever. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from a design perspective, yeah. I think the nighttime yeah, is you, absolutely amazing. Yeah, and I can't wait to see that too. <laughs> so much to see. That's it here for now. Again, Niagara Parks at the really power station where there's so much history and so much to learn. That's it for now.